Hello. My name is Andriy Meloshenko. I am a senior researcher at the VM Glushkov Institute of Cybernetics of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine and would like to present to you the course, Fundamentals of Electronic Document Management, which was developed by me and my colleague Anastasia Grechko. The course consists of three core modules, an electronic identification module and mobile ID, an electronic document module and an electronic trust services module. This course is made for citizens, civil servants and small and medium-sized businesses, SME, and its purpose is to give both the skills and understanding of working with electronic documents. After this course, you will have a basic understanding. What is an electronic document? What is the electronic identification, mobile ID, and the life cycle of an electronic document supported by electronic trust services? In this course, the following sections will demonstrate 1. Theory and 2. Practical examples. How you can create an electronic document, verify it, send it to the counterpart, and also demonstrate approaches to signing contracts between two or more counterparties or regulatory documents as a part of the procedures for agreeing them within public authorities. Thank you. Also in the introductory video, we would like to emphasize the importance and benefit of using mobile ID, which became possible after the adoption of the law on electronic trust services in 2017. In fact, mobile ID is a type of electronic identification that provides the highest level of electronic identification. The equivalent of such a service in the paper world is a passport, it means, it is very common to provide services or or to sign any contractual relationship you are identified using a passport issued by the competent authorities. Mobile ID service is the analog of the passport in electronic form. Alternative service, is an EID passport that we will not review in this course. And the mobile ID service is based on a qualified electronic signature. After receiving the mobile ID service, you actually receive two services, an electronic identification service and a qualified electronic signature service. The main difference between them is that when you are identified, they can only identify you, and very often in the country, it is sufficient to identify the person to provide the services according to the so-called application principle, and the second service, qualified electronic signature already allows you to sign documents on behalf of you, an appropriate document that you can save on your devices. It gives you the opportunity to use relationships, which are based on documents, that is, to write an application, sign contracts, participate in electronic document flow using your phone and SIM card, and the details of how, using mobile ID, you can create an electronic document will be demonstrated in the second video. An important aspect of this course is the use of mobile ID exclusively by the Kievstar mobile operator, which, unfortunately, is, today the only one providing a mobile ID service using European standards. And in order to have access to this service it is quite simple to activate it. On the Kievstar website, in the SME Mobile ID section, which you can see on the screen, there is an instruction that allows you to find a store where this service is provided. Unfortunately, not in any store that sells SIM cards from Kievstar, you may have access to Mobile ID service. This is due to the necessity to identify as individual, to exchange your card and to activate mobile ID. This service is quite simple, you only have to come to the appropriate store and fulfill the requirements that are displayed on the Kievstar website, and after that you will be able to create electronic documents. My recommendation before watching the second and third videos on creating and verifying an electronic document, is to get this service so you can repeat the actions in real time with me. Later, in a month, 
You can cancel the mobile ID service if you do not need it at all. Thank you for your attention.